Joining me right now is California Congressman Darrell Issa. He sits on both the House Foreign Affairs and House Judiciary Committees. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Can you explain to us what is going on with the CCP and why it has been able to infiltrate our government so significantly? Well, they've been able to do it because they've had willing partners. Uh, you know, Bayer is a former ambassador. He's been well briefed on uh, China's attempts to infiltrate, and he should have known better. You know, at, at the end of the day, you have to assume, sadly, that if somebody has family in mainland China, that they're compromised. If you're a student from China, you're compromised. If you're going back to China, you're compromised. And yet, again and again, you see uh, that. And we've been, you know, we've been warned that it's an active effort. We've been warned uh, that they're likely to use all of the, if you will, the Cold War tactics. Uh, and yet, time and time again, you see members of Congress and others falling for it. Uh, perhaps they're falling for it, and perhaps they simply don't have their guards up because they're not worried about Iran. They're not worried about Russia. They're not worried about China. But they should be. Yeah. What about Hunter Biden and the Biden family influence peddling? You released an email recently from Hunter Biden's laptop, which basically showed Jim Biden lobbying the Qataris. We know how much money they've taken in from the Chinese Communist Party, or at least we think we do. It might be much more than that. We know the money he's taken in from Ukraine and Burisma and also from Russia. What is this about the Qataris? What is going on with the Biden family influence peddling that we don't know? Well, I think the one thing that <clears throat> that we we're not focusing on is when it's the Biden family getting money, <clears throat> they're all for natural gas. They're all for working with uh, people around the world that are that either want it or want to supply it. Uh, and then, of course, in you know the rest of the time, they're they're against natural gas and they're trying to destroy the u s. ability to make it. Uh, what's amazing to me is that they simply sold out too cheap. We're talking about five, six, ten, fifteen million dollars. Uh, this is really peanuts to a trillion dollar economy like like China. Uh, and quite frankly, the Qataris uh, didn't bite, but they certainly had a hard sale attempt by the CCP and Hunter Biden. Will we see any accountability for all of this influence peddling? After January 3rd, we expect to hold them accountable, including, as Ted Cruz mentioned, we need that special prosecutor. We need him badly. Hold on one moment, quick break, and then I want to ask you about the revolution underway in Iran. We have yet to hear from the administration against the Iranian, uh, to assist the Iranian protesters and against the regime. We'll talk about it next. Stay with us. Welcome back. I'm back with California Congressman Daryl Issa. Congressman, I want to get your take on Twitter now, owned by Elon Musk. And interestingly, you see these woke corporations. I believe General Motors is deciding if it's going to continue advertising. It claims it wants to see what this company is. Well, it's interesting. You know, after General Motors was owned by the government, they've been the uh, uh, the best advertisements for anything that the Biden administration wanted, including their so-called green initiatives. Uh, but it is interesting, you know, General Motors has less than one-tenth the market cap of, of Tesla, and yet uh, they've decided not to be with a free speech advertising. And perhaps it's because they don't have a good product to advertise. Uh, what's interesting, though, is that Twitter is now letting both sides, including those who denounce Twitter uh, and denounce Musk, have a, a forum to talk. And that's what it was supposed yeah. to be. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing a lively debate on both sides on Twitter. Well, we know that the FBI called Facebook and said, you know, watch for disinformation. They censored the Hunter Biden story right before the 2020 election. And that's why met much of the public does not understand this influence peddling. Well, and that's what's going to stop now on Twitter is that they're not going to take calls from the White House to shut down uh, information uh, just because somebody wants to call it misinformation. Uh, you know, if you if you want to call it misinformation, get up and and call it misinformation. But both sides need to be heard fair and balanced, if you will, Maria. Yeah, that's right. Congressman, I got to get your take on Iran. There seems to be a revolution underway. Women in the streets, uh, protesters in the streets, not just in Iran, but also in Berlin. Look at this picture, 120,000 Iranians taken to the streets in Berlin to denounce the supreme leader. Uh, we haven't heard a word from the administration. Are they with the people or with the Iranian regime? 
You know, for more than 30 days, the Iranian people have been on the streets uh, uh, protesting, in, in some cases being killed uh, or beaten, and, uh, and there's been complete silence because this administration wants their nuclear deal, which they're negotiating with Russia, at a time when Russia, China, and uh, Iran are all using drones to kill Ukrainians. It's, it's wow. one of those strange things where we started a, a, a real battle and we're not showing up. All right.